My name is Lauren Neville. I go to American University. I'm the president of the American University Beekeeping Society, and I love bees. I first got involved with the Beekeeping Society when I actually attended the last meeting uh, they had uh, last semester. Um, I was in Eve Bratman's class. I actually took her class because um, I heard that she was a beekeeper on campus, and then at the near the end of the meeting, Eve turned to me and she said, so do you want to be our new president? And I thought she was kidding because I had known nothing about beekeeping before that. But then she said, all the people sitting around you are graduating, so we really need a president. So I, uh, I couldn't turn her down. And I don't know, it was sort of one of those take a leap kind of things. And when I first started, I was nervous. I'll be honest, I was never nervous of bees in my life really, but I've never had never been stung uh, by a bee before. And it was more so that there were just so many. And I didn't want to upset them, you know, this natural tendency to not want to upset bees. And here I was, literally hands deep in a hive. For me, one of the biggest challenges is trying to stay, stay kind of cool, calm, collected. Um, and try to absorb what they were trying to say to me. One of the things we do is purely um, observe and study and uh, take care of the bees just for the, the sake of knowledge. And as everyone knows, bees are essential to um, basically our planet as pollinators. Another thing that we do though is we do collect honey. We predict about 80 pounds of honey, which is a lot more than we had last time. It's, we're just really, our bees are thriving. So I think I ended up taking up the responsibility of Queen Bee um, for, for a few reasons. Um, I was very taken by Eve Bratman, my teacher. Uh, I just really liked the way that she jumped into projects. You know, one of the last lectures she gave was, was frankly, she said, be ballsy with your life uh, and see what happens. So when she sat there, this is the person that I sort of looked up to, and she said, do you want to be the queen bee of the beekeeping society? I felt a moment of like, oh, I got to go be ballsy today. Um, I remember just saying yes, um, and then walking back to my apartment, not realizing what I just committed to, thinking it was funny, thinking it was a little bit weird, um, but I don't regret it. <laughs> I can tell you that much. It might be one of the better decisions I've made in my life.